Hey and welcome back. You, like me, have your inbox full of this stuff. A genealogy site is offering a service to its customers to facially slightly animate old pictures. It's interesting. I genuinely think it offers a service and a way of remembering a dead ancestor and brings them back to life. Remember when World War II in color was a thing? As a film editor who works on history films, I always had my doubts. But in fact, it's rather good. For this reason, colour brings the people to life. And that's just what historians want. But this AI facial moving technology needs a bit of a deeper dive. <laughs> So that's just what I did. It turns out that the Ancestry genealogy site is just offering this as a plugin and it's not their software. It actually comes from a brilliant Israeli company that's been around for a while called DID. And they offer a much wider package of things you can do with artificial intelligence and the human face. Watch this. Every minute, petabytes of video are created, uploaded, or stored. Yet much of this data is off limits for business or analytics use, since it contains personal identifiable information. Introducing Smart Anonymization from DID. DID applies AI and deep learning to artificially recreate faces and objects. In doing so, DID removes PII and facial features yet maintains key face attributes. So that was their example of how to mask someone's face who wanted to remain anonymous for the police. But they also offer this feature. Now you can use any video data for analytics while fully complying with data privacy regulations. It gets round the sticky problem of getting permission from everybody you film in the street. Now, in many countries like the USA and Great Britain, it's really not illegal to film people in the street. If a member of the public features very prominently in a shot, it's a really good idea to get their name and address and permission on a release form. But in France, the whole concept of filming people is illegal. So now you don't have to bother. If there's a couple of full featured faces in your shot that you're using for some advertising campaign, you just change them. And of course it raises this enormous issue of facial recognition and CCTV coverage. So it's now possible for the security services to put you in the scene of a crime. I'm not saying they would do that, but it is possible. Four score and seven years ago, our ancestors dreamed that we would build our family tree and make fascinating discoveries about our family history. And then you have this, a deep fake video where you could put words in somebody's mouth, a historic figure or maybe a contemporary politician. And the software is great. It's very hard to tell what's real. And what's fake? I guess the truth is out there.